Assalamu alaikum. In the name of Almighty Allah, the most gracious and merciful. Today, uh, I'll be speaking on the topic, the nature of communication research. As I had already told you in my earlier video about communication research, the basics of communication research. And I have also already, in my, I think, first or second video, I have talked to you about communication or mass communication or journalism. That is, this subject is related to almost all the subjects almost all the fields so when we talk of more communication research this research is also related to various other fields vis-a-vis -vis communication so today we'll be talking about the nature of uh, communication research for example when we talk of research in sciences or science fields for example biology or specific fields of uh, biology like zoology like botany chemistry physics so these subjects, they have a, uh, a style of research that is known as scientific research. And there are subjects of social sciences, for example, sociology, for example, uh, psychology, physiology, history, uh, religious studies, international relations. So these subjects, these social science subjects, they have a different style that is known as sociological style of research. And when we talk of uh, communication or mass communication, the nature of uh, mass communication research is that it takes into consideration both the scientific as well as the social science research me methods. It uh, the in the uh, communication or in the in the communication research we can use scientific methods, we can use experimental methods, and we can use non-experimental methods as well. So because this subject. It, it actually this mass communication subject is actually a communication is actually a social science subject but it has a lot to do with sciences also and there are many uh, researches for example when i was doing my post graduation in mass communication so i did uh, my dissertation first research i did on the use of internet by the local media of uh, jnk jammu and kashmir so when i did this research it's obvious that internet is involved in it and internet is a scientific thing so we i had to take into consideration various scientific methods also while doing that research also in uh, for example i was posted in uh, ministry of health in the government of india uh, so i thought of doing a research so there were a lot of research options for me doing research in health communication doing research in science and technology communication doing research in biomedical communication but when if i would have uh, got the opportunity to do it so i would have definitely uh, want to use the scientific methods as well as the social science or the communication methods or we can call the non-scientific methods so the nature of uh, communication research is simply that it combines both the scientific as well as the non-scientific methods of doing research so it can be said that the nature of mass communication research or communication research is interdisciplinary why in communication do we use both the scientific as well as the non-scientific or the social uh, methods of doing research it is obvious that as i had already told in my earlier video that communication or mass communication is an amalgamation of many subjects and it is uh, related to many subjects if, even if uh, we talk scientific subjects or non-scientific subjects varying from uh, economics eschatology religious studies international relations psychology sociology biology physics uh mathematics statistics so it has something from all these subjects and many other different fields of knowledge so uh, that's why this communication research is also interdisciplinary in nature so moving on towards what is the area of communication research as already said that communication is a vast field it encompasses almost all the other fields or branches of knowledge and it's related to them so it means that the area of communication research is very vast the communication research deals with the elements of communication and their relationship with the subject and their interrelationship with each other 
So when we talk of the elements of communication or the elements of communication research, they include the source, the communicator, the who is the source, who is the communicator. Then the second element of communication is the message, the content. What is the message? What is the content? Then the third element of the communication or the communication research is the medium. What is the medium through which we are receiving the message? Is the medium the mass communication or any other media? Or is it a direct one-to-one -one interviewing or face-to-face -face talk from which we are receiving the content, receiving the information? What is the medium? The fourth one being the receiver. Who is the, who is the receiver? Who is the audience? Who is the listener? Who is the viewer? Who is the observer? Or to whom we have to present this information? Then the last element of communication or communication research is what is the effect of this whole process? What will be the effect of this communication? Or what will be the effect of this communication research will it have a positive impact or will it have a ne negative impact when we talk of communication research for example think that this communication research is in the middle and on the one side of the communication research is the media and on the other side of the communication research is the society It means that whatever communication research we do, we take into consideration different elements of the society. Why are a medium or why are media, be it mass media or any other channel? Definitely in communication research, we do research on various aspects of the society. Vis-a-vis -vis the media, the communication channels present in that society.